dinos, welcome back to the Dinosaur Toy Blog channel. A big box to open today, so let's just get straight to it. You can probably see along the side here, it says PNSO. And this is going to be almost entirely PNSO stuff, ordered recently from Everything Dinosaur. So let's see what's inside. Of course, it's going to be mostly moving reptiles. This is the sheets, which everything dinosaur always provide. We'll put those to one side. Ah, so let's see. Let's start with the big one. This is Brooke, the Ophthalmosaurus, a wonderful ichthyosaur. These have been in my uh, list of things to buy for a while. And I noticed that the um, Mosasaur, Ron the Mosasaur, is out of stock, so I thought, well, I don't want anything else to become out of stock. So even though I've still got a lot of things still waiting to be unboxed the rest of my collection, I didn't want to miss out any of these models. So I put in the order another Ichthyosaur here. This is the Urinosaurus, another Ichthyosaur, smaller. The Dacosaurus here. Dacosaurus has a name, Paul Wynn. These lots and lots of little ones. And this PNSO small Gigantoraptor. These ones are a little bit bigger than the, the miniatures, these, these little miniatures, but they are bigger than the, you know, the previous kind that you saw. Uh oh. Okay, we'll look at these in more detail now. Okay, so this is a bit of an awkward big box to film, so I've had to change the angle. But look what I've gone and got. This is the Shy Plesiosaurus. Let's open it up. It's a lot smaller than I uh, thought it would be. Uh, for some reason, I expected it to be larger. It's yeah, it's not much bigger than my hand, as you can see. Um, I was expecting it to be maybe twice the size. It's stuck inside this little plastic base. I'll take that out there. Oh, it's stuck in there real good. Okay, there we go. And the plesiosaurus. So it's um, you can see these little dots on the neck. That's because there's a wire that runs through it so that you can bend it. It's supposed to hold the shape, uh, and it does to a certain extent, but not really very much. And just look, <laughs> what, what an unusual design. It's a very, very unusual. I mean, this, this, this is ridiculous. What, what's going on there on its head? Uh, it's like a bivalve in, in side view. Uh, yeah, I think somebody on the Dinosaur Toy Forum said this looks a little bit more like a, a bath toy uh, or a dog toy than a, um, than a, a replica model. Uh, proportions are all weird, it's really super scaly when we know plesiosaurs weren't. Uh, yeah, a, a weird one, very weird indeed, but it's a plesiosaur so it goes into the collection. And what's left is these miniatures. So let's go through these PNSO miniatures one by one. We start with the Ectenosaurus. This is a, a type of Mosasaur. I won't open these properly. I'll just uh, show the boxes. This is Paul Wynn the Dacosaurus. We had a Dacosaurus already. What was that one's name? That was... Uh, was that? Well, that's Paul Wynn as well, so that means... Let me just grab that. Paul Wynn, the Dacosaurus. So this one is called Paul Wynn, number 18. And this miniature is called Paul Wynn. So there's, a, there's two different sized versions of the same individual prehistoric crocodile. Um, okay. It looks quite nice. Really nice colours, and it's good to see a prehistoric crocodile represented. We have, oh, 
Oh, it's another Exenosaurus. I must have ordered the same one twice. Um, never mind. Uh, there's one to trade. This is Shalfi, the Odontochilis. I think these have posters in as well. Uh, Ricky, the Kikosaurus. This is a Sauropteregion, a, a primitive um, early relative of plesiosaurs. Uh, you can see the, the similarity there. And finally, I think, is the Atopodentatus, Finch. A curious choice of names for these creatures. And this is number 36 in the series. So I think this is, I, I don't know whether there were different series, but um, this is probably series two of the uh, of the miniature PNSO Age of the Dinosaurs toys. And that's it for the PNSO boxing today. Until next time, take care.